Hello. Hi. Good morning. This is Nicole. Yes, this is she. Hey, Nicole. It's Mojo in the morning. Hi. Hi. We're calling you up today because somebody uh, told us that you guys have been going through some crazy, crazy times right now, and we heard the story about your husband. Okay. And the person who told us about this wrote a beautiful letter to us, and we're going to ask them to read it to you. Okay. Dear Mojo in the morning, all that is on one seven-year-old girl's mind is having her dad give her a hug on Christmas morning. That's not too much to ask, right? Well, it is if you're the daughter of a Detroit police officer who was shot in the line of duty last April. Officer Johnson was shot in the head responding to a domestic violence call in the wee hours of the night. While this pigtailed little third grader wishes for a moment of normalcy with her father, her mother wishes for not only the same, but knows that the six month in the hospital without any improvement comes with an unknown future. She wishes for peace for this loving man who brought her beautiful three children into this world. I can't imagine the financial strain put on Miss Johnson with multiple trips to the hospital, bills, and everyday items needed for raising her kids. Her shoulders are heavy as she walks through the classroom door each morning. She musters a smile to teach because she knows that the face that peers across the classroom is someone else's daughter, someone who deserves nothing but the best. Mr. and Mrs. Johnson have chosen careers to help people in our own community. They are both passionate about protecting, serving, and teaching others. This will be the first Christmas where Officer Johnson will not be waking up to see his children open presents. I don't know another family who is more deserving of some extra love and financial support during this holiday season. Sincerely, Christy Garrett. Nicole, we're so sorry about what happened to your brave husband, Waldus. How is he doing, Nicole? Um, he's not re- he's um uh, he's I'm sorry. That's okay. It's okay. He is uh he is strong. <laughs> That's mm-hmm. what he is. He's strong and he's getting better. <sighs> Thank you. Yeah, you got a lot on your plate. Yeah, yeah. And doing it in the way that only a mom and a teacher and a wife can do. And our Mojo in the Morning show, along with all of our listeners and all of the community that are there for your kids, for, you know, Piper and Jaden and Aaron, want to grant a Christmas wish for you. Okay. We heard there was a fundraiser, but the money obviously went to medical bills, not towards basic bills and food and things you need to worry about, and let alone worrying about Christmas. Christmas. We need to make sure that there's Christmas in that house. Are you okay with this morning being Christmas for you? Yeah, that's fine. This might be the only morning we ever suggest breaking and entering into a cop's house. That's right. <laughs> uh, Joey, is uh, Joey? can you go to the front door? Um, surprise for you, Nicole. Today is Christmas. We have truckloads of gifts that we want to bring into your home right now and a ton of people from our show and also from Piper School that want to bring Christmas into your home. Good morning. Merry Christmas. Today is Christmas for you. These people look familiar. Oh my God. Nicole. Hello. <laughs> Nicole, we want to make sure that all of your kids have all the presents that they deserve for Christmas. So we bought them. A ton of stuff, including oh my God, what is this? Piper's oh. going to get dolls and a giant doll house. A new bike, an iPod. Oh Jaden is going to get awesome. some new football equipment. <laughs> An Xbox I'm One. About to a PLC. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, we got Jaden an Xbox One because we're hoping for a future in the NFL so we could say we knew him when. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. 
<laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, you goodness. are so welcome. So There's a Thank bunch you. of gifts in there for Aaron as well. We, uh, what a special kid moved back home from New York to help his family. Yeah. 20, 23 years old, and he stepped Thank up. Thank you so much. Oh my goodness, this is just I can't. I, this is like a total just. I'm floored. Thank you so Take much. Take it all in and look around that room I'm at so all of those people who love you so <laughs> much, Nicole. Oh, my gosh. Nicole, cops and teachers come together in a time of need, and that's why mm -hmm. today we have all the teachers that are there with us today, including Piper's third grade teacher who wrote that beautiful letter, Miss Garrett. And we also have police officers from all uh, across the metro area, especially our friends from the West Bloomfield Police Department. Uh, Officer Phil uh, Pancheco is there right now on behalf of them. They did the shopping for you. They took our credit card and they went down and did all the shopping for you. And they help us every year with our breaking in and Christmas uh, wish. So blue helps blue. Who are you talking to? Where is Pancheco? Pacheco, is there someone your name? Pacheco. Thank you. Nicole, we got we got gifts for you too. No. We we bought the necessities that you need for the home. We also are gonna provide you with new mattresses for the kids. We're gonna actually give you gift cards to Kroger so that you can always keep those cupboards stocked with all the food that you need. And we're going to write you a check, too, so that you have some money for those bills that are going to be coming in, knowing that uh, your beautiful husband is battling right now so strong. And uh, we are praying, praying, praying that God is healing him right now. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Merry, Merry Christmas to your entire family and Merry Christmas to you, especially, Nicole, for staying strong. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. I Okay. God Go bless you. Hey, Joey. Let's let's have a Christmas party. What do you say? Joey, can you hand the phone back to Joe? Joey? Joey? Joey's right there with the beard. He's the guy. He's that he looks like a GI Joe doll. <laughs> jo hey, Joey? Hey, what's up? Let's have a Christmas party. <laughs> Special thanks to our friends at Art Van and Kroger for being so good to us with our Breaking and Entering Christmas Wish program and also the, again, the West Bloomfield Police Department.